Hey guys, it's Adrian here, the Canadian in a t-shirt. And today I'll be breaking down the best premium cashback credit cards in Canada for 2021. When I say premium, I mean that all the cards on this list come with an annual fee, they require a strong credit score, and most of them require a high salary of at least 60,000. If you want to improve your credit score, check out my video on the basics of credit scores in Canada and how to improve your credit in seven simple steps. So click the pop-up at the top right and then come back to this video. Even though these cards come with an annual fee, their cashback value more than makes up for it, as long as you spend enough. These cards can earn you hundreds or even thousands of dollars every year in free cashback money. I personally have used all the cards on this list, but you really only need two of them at most since there's quite a lot of overlap between them. Check out my video on the seven Canadian cashback cards I use on a daily basis to maximize my overall cashback. Two of those cards are premium cards and they'll show up on this list. The other five come with no annual fee. For those of you with smaller incomes and lower credit scores, click the pop-up at the top right to check out my video on the best no-fee cashback credit cards in Canada. Those are cards that almost anyone can get approved for, and I'll be making an updated version of that video very soon. But in this video, I'm only going to be talking about cards with an annual fee. As always, these cards are a great way to earn extra money, but only spend what you can afford. These cards can give you 4% in cash back, but that's nothing compared to the 20% of interest charged against you if you can't make a payment. So be smart, control your spending, and always pay your credit card bills in full. So with that, let's jump into the best premium cashback credit cards in Canada. Starting at the top, my overall favorite cashback credit card of all time is the American Express Simply Cash Preferred Card. I've had this card for over six years, and it's the card that gives me the most cash back every single year. This card takes the lead because one, it looks cool, and two, because of its simplicity. It offers 2% cash back on every single purchase you make. By using this card, I'm getting a 2% discount on anything I buy. Other cards on this list will offer you 3% or 4% cash back, but only on certain types of expenses like groceries. There is no other card on the market that offers you 2% cash back across the board. I use this card on everything, especially large purchases like electronics, hotels, flights, furniture, concert tickets, and vacations. This card comes with a $99 annual fee, but the 2% cash back more than makes up for it, as long as you spend at least $5,000 a year with this card. Even better, this card does not have an income requirement, so as long as you have a strong credit score, you'll get approved. If you don't think you'll spend enough to justify the $99 annual fee, then you can go for its little brother, the no-fee American Express Simply Cash card. This card has no annual fee, but it only offers 1.25% cash back on every purchase. The Big Brother offers 2% cash back, but it comes with a $99 annual fee. Here's an easy way to decide. If you spend more than $13,000 a year with this card, then go for the Big Brother, the Simply Cash Preferred card, to get that higher cash back rate. But if you spend less than $13,000 a year, stick to the little guy, the Simply Cash card. The $99 annual fee is just not worth it unless you spend enough. For both cards, the cash back is paid out to you once a year in September. This card also comes with some great benefits, like free theft and damage insurance for car rentals, travel insurance, extended purchase warranty, and my favorite, front of the line access. This card allows you to buy tickets for concerts and sporting events three to five days before they go on sale to the general public. I use this card every time I go to a concert to avoid being sold out. Also, American Express is the only card in Canada that offers a referral program. Every time you refer this card to a friend, you'll receive $100 in cash back, up to $1,500 a year. If you refer one friend, that covers the annual fee already. If you refer 10 friends, that's $1,000 for you. Even before I had a YouTube channel, I was still referring this card to at least two or three friends every year. Of course, don't be annoying. Only refer this card to people who would actually benefit from it. And if you use my referral link in the box below, you'll get a 10% promotional cashback rate on every purchase you make for the first four months or the first $4,000 you spend. That's a 10% discount on everything you buy, and that'll get you up to $400 of bonus cashback. Plus, I'll get a referral bonus as well. Just a heads up, not all vendors in Canada accept American Express. All the big stores like Walmart, Best Buy, and Sobeys, they'll all accept American Express, but some of the smaller shops might not. So just to be safe, always carry a Visa or a MasterCard with you as well. My second favorite credit card is the Scotiabank Momentum Visa Infinite, and this is actually the oldest card that I have. This card offers a whopping 4% cash back on groceries and recurring bill payments. I hook up whatever monthly bill payments I can to this card to get that 4% cash back, including my cell phone, internet, Netflix, and utilities. Unfortunately, Walmart is not considered a grocery store, at least not where I live, so I can't use this card to get 4% of Walmart. Instead, I use my American Express to get 2%. 
but for all other grocery stores like Sobeys, Metro, and Loblaws, I use this Scotiabank Visa to get 4% cash back on everything I buy. For me, groceries and monthly bills are my biggest expense, so getting 4% cash back is perfect for me. This card also offers 2% cash back on gasoline and transit, things like bus passes and Uber. Everything else gets 1% cash back, which is pretty standard. My strategy is to use this card to get 4% cash back on groceries and bills, and then use my American Express on everything else to get 2% cash back. This card comes with a $120 annual fee, but the cash back more than makes up for it if you spend a lot on groceries and bills. If you spend at least $3,000 a year or $250 a month, the cash back already pays for itself. This card requires a strong credit score, but it also requires an income of at least $60,000 or a household income of $100,000. The cash back from Scotia is paid out to you once a year in November. This card also offers a generous list of benefits like car rental insurance, flight delay and cancellation insurance, emergency travel medical insurance, and here's a really cool one, free mobile device insurance. If you buy a new phone using the Scotia Visa, you'll be covered up to $1,000 if your phone is stolen, damaged, or destroyed. As a sign-up bonus, Scotiabank will waive the annual fee for the first year, saving you $120. Plus, they'll give you 10% promotional cashback on every purchase you make for the first three months or the first $2,000 you spend. That's a total sign-up bonus worth $320, which makes this card even better. This promotion is offered every few months, so keep an eye out for it. At number three, we have the CIBC Dividend Visa Infinite Card. This card is very similar to the Scotia Visa Infinite, but it focuses on gasoline rather than monthly bills. This card offers 4% cash back on groceries and gasoline. Interestingly, it also offers 2% cash back at Tim Hortons and Telus, which might be useful for you. Everything else is the standard 1% cash back. The main draw of this card is the 4% cash back on groceries and gasoline. This is the best card when it comes to gasoline, so if you drive a lot, I would consider this card over the Scotia card. As an extra benefit, you can link up your CIBC Visa to the Journey Rewards program for free, and that will save you 3 cents per liter at all Pioneer, Ultramar, and Chevron gas stations. And on top of that, you'll earn 4% cash back on those purchases. This card comes with an annual fee of $99, but the cash back more than makes up for it if you spend a lot on groceries and gasoline. If you spend at least $2,500 a year or $208 a month, the cash back already pays for itself. To qualify for this card, you'll need a strong credit score and an income of at least $60,000. If you don't meet this income requirement, apply for the CIBC Dividend Platinum Visa. The Platinum card has the exact same cashback rates and annual fee, but you only need $15,000 to qualify for it. The downside is that the Platinum card offers far fewer insurance benefits than the Infinite Visa. The cashback from CIBC is paid out to you once a year in December. CIBC Infinite Visa offers essentially the same insurance benefits as the Scotia Visa. They offer emergency travel medical insurance, flight delay and cancellation insurance, and car rental insurance. But they don't offer the cell phone insurance that Scotia does. Currently, CIBC's sign-up bonus only waives the $99 annual fee. But every few months, they offer a promotion of 10% cash back on every purchase for the first four months or the first $2,000 you spend. Just keep checking their website and take advantage of this excellent sign-up bonus. Meridian offers an infinite visa, which is pretty much identical to the CABC infinite visa. It also has a $99 annual fee, and it offers 4% cash back on groceries and gasoline, just like the CABC. But it offers 2% cash back at pharmacies and utility bills, and 1% cash back everywhere else. It also offers the same $1,000 mobile device insurance that Scotia does. If gasoline is your biggest expense and you want this mobile insurance, then maybe the Meridian Infinite Visa is a better option for you. Finally, we have the TD Cashback Visa Infinite Card. And this card is like a hybrid between the CABC and the Scotia Visa. The CABC was best for gasoline spenders and the Scotia was great for large monthly bills. The TD Visa is a balanced middle ground between the two. This card offers 3% cashback on groceries, monthly bills, and gasoline. Everything else gets 1%. The annual fee is $120, so you'll need to spend at least $4,000 a year on groceries, gasoline, and bills to break even. That's only $330 a month, so this card should make up for the annual fee. This card requires a strong credit score, but also an income of at least $60,000 or a household income of $100,000. A great feature with the TD Infinite is that you can redeem the cash back anytime you want. You don't have to wait to get your cashback money once a year. You can redeem your cashback anytime at all, as long as you have a balance of at least $25. The TD Visa Infinite offers a lot of the same benefits like the other cards, like car rental insurance and emergency travel medical insurance. But a really cool feature is that this card comes with free roadside assistance called TD Auto Club. This card basically comes with a free CAA membership built in. So if you need to tow your car or jumpstart your engine, this TD Visa has you covered. 
As a sign-up bonus, TD will waive the annual fee for the first year, saving you $120. Plus, they'll give you 10% promotional cashback on every purchase you make for the first three months or the first $2,000 you spend. That's a total sign-up bonus of $320, and this promotion is offered every few months, so keep an eye out for it. So those are the best premium cashback credit cards in Canada. Let's do a quick summary of each of their benefits to help you decide which one or two of them you should get. The American Express Simply Cash Preferred card offers you 2% cashback on every purchase. It comes with a $99 annual fee, and it offers all the standard benefits, plus early access to concert ticket sales and a referral bonus. As a sign-up bonus, this card gives you 10% cash back on every purchase for the first four months for a maximum of $400. The Scotiabank Momentum Infinite Visa offers you 4% cash back on groceries and bills, 2% cash back on gas and transit, and 1% on everything else. This card comes with a $120 annual fee and it offers all the standard benefits plus mobile device insurance. As a sign-up bonus, this card will waive the annual fee for the first year and it will offer you 10% bonus cash back on every purchase for the first three months up to a maximum of $200. The CIBC Dividend Infinite Visa offers you 4% cash back on groceries and gasoline, 2% cash back at Tim Hortons and Talus, and 1% everywhere else. This card comes with a $99 annual fee, plus it will give you a discount of $0.03 cents per liter at certain gas stations. As a sign-up bonus, this card currently only waives the annual fee for the first year, but usually it will offer you 10% cash back on every purchase for the first four months up to a maximum value of $200. The TD Infinite Visa offers you 3% cash back on groceries, bills, and gasoline, and 1% everywhere else. This card comes with a $120 annual fee. This card offers all the standard benefits, plus it allows you to redeem your cash back anytime as long as you have at least $25. It will also offer you free roadside assistance. As a sign-up bonus, this card will waive the annual fee for the first year, plus it will offer you 10% cash back on every purchase for the first three months, up to a total value of $200. The Scotia, CIBC, and TD Visa are all so similar, so you really only need one of them. Let's see which one works best for you. Remember, the American Express already offers 2% cash back on everything, so we can just ignore all the cash back rates that are 2% or lower to compare these three cards. Also, all three cards have almost the same annual fee, so we'll get rid of them and we'll clean up the table a bit. Now we can focus on the differences between each card. Scotia Visa is the only one that pays 4% cash back on monthly bills, so if you're like me and monthly bills are your biggest expense, I would go with the Scotia. The CIBC is the only one that offers 4% cash back on gasoline, so if you drive a lot, you should probably go with the CIBC. Finally, if you spend roughly equally between groceries, gasoline, and monthly bills, then the TD Infinite Visa is probably your best bet. So pick one of those three cards to get 3% or 4% cash back on groceries, bills, and gasoline, and then for everything else, use the American Express to get 2%. So there you have it. Those are the best premium cash back credit cards in Canada for 2021. I've included a link in the box below for each of these credit cards if you'd like to sign up, including my referral link for the American Express card to get that 10% sign up bonus. Be sure to check out my Canadian credit card playlist to find out how to improve your credit score and to learn more about Canadian credit cards, including the best no fee credit cards in Canada. Thanks for watching guys, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Every thumbs up and comment really does help me build this channel on YouTube, and hit that bell icon to be notified of my new videos every week. And if you'd like to support my channel, click the join button down below to gain access to my exclusive videos like my TFSA portfolio reveal. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, at Canadian T-shirt, click the links in the box below or click the links on my homepage. Be sure to tune into my next video where I'll be breaking down everything you need to know about investing in REITs. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of the Canadian in a T-shirt. Bye guys.